what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video i'm just going to give my opinion on the whole debacle with scream 3 second killer being cut out of the narrative cut out of the script due to leaks due to producer issues whatever the case may be because traditionally as we all know we have two killers in every screen film outside of scream 3 we're all hoping that scream 5 becomes the first film to give us a trio of killers we know the first movie gave us billy and Stu. the second film gave us uh mickey and mrs loomis and then the fourth film gave us jill and charlie but scream 3 we just got roman bridger came to find that come to find that roman bridger is sydney's long lost half brother who is the indirect mastermind of the entire franchise due to his connections with the marine prescott murders that cotton weary ended up being framed for and then we came to find out that it was actually billy and Stu who killed her and then yeah but getting on into things the whole idea with scream 3 having that second killer wrapped or cut out that had created a a ton of inconsistencies in the film because they still shot it like there were two killers but it was just roman so it's like why did you cut out the idea of the second killer but still shot it like there were two originally in the script roman bridger's partner was going to be angelina and we know angelina was played by emily mortimer in the film she was going to be like revealed as a old high school friend of sydney's or they went to high school together and she was like an idol she idolizes sydney prescott because she wants to have her fame and, and her celebrity status she wants to be an actress i guess she basically was she built a shrine to sydney in her head and she was just obsessed with sydney and she wanted to have that fame and that stardom that sydney had which explains how she landed in that role that she ended up getting in Stab 3 Return to Woodsboro because she would have ended up being Roman's secret lover and now she's starring in Stab 3 Return to Woodsboro not only getting the fame that she always wanted that she was jealous of Sydney of but she's starring in the film as Sydney. Now those plans of course never came to fruition as we know it was just Roman there was no secret lover but a lot of people have and I've, I've heard two different things i know emily mortimer she was great in her in her role as angelina but there's a lot of instances in the film where her being revealed as the killer would have explained certain things whereas it just being roman while it still makes sense if you would have tossed angelina in it would be like oh that makes sense now too because they still shot the film in ways as if angelina was going to be a killer accomplice or just the killer herself for instance she has a scene where she's in in the stall on the set of stab three and she literally goes on top of the toilet almost like they're paying homage to the opening not the opening but the scene from scream when cindy's in the bathroom they're trying to pay a little cheesy homage to that scene i don't really get it why are you going on top of the toilet i get that she's trying to hide from whoever she thinks that, that might be because she's clearly stealing things from the set but the fact that she's in there with a handful of props including the ghost face costume only for her to just have a scene later on saying that oh i took this from the set uh, as like a souvenir and but then we're also finding out that she apparently was also going to be the killer at one point it's like you you cut that out of the film but you you kept little nudges towards that idea in it like what why do that because what i've heard i've heard two things i've heard that the weinsteins were against the idea so bob and harvey weinstein once again striking and making the dumbest decision ever because when you eliminate this second killer Again, so many things in Scream 3 don't make sense. For instance, when Sydney is visiting the set of Stab 3 and she goes up to her old bedroom and then Ghostface appears from behind and grabs her, pulls her out, they go through the table, crash and burn. She rushes back into the house, Ghostface appears from behind her as if he teleported. And it's like, how did, how did Roman get from point A to point B that fast? And I've had people try to rationalize this to me. Oh, well, he's the director of Stab 3. He knows the ins and outs of the set that has nothing to do with someone moving at lightning speed he literally went through a table and then she ran into the house yet he came from behind her in the closet how does that make any sense that that's another instance where it seems that there's two people at work but then we come to find that there's only one how is roman moving so fast like i said before why are you still shooting the movie this way why are you still shooting the movie this way i the only time i've ever seen that occur in this franchise was in the original 
where we have we have Billy and Stu locked in that bedroom after Billy had seemingly been killed. But then Stu or somebody cuts Sydney off at the pass as she's trying to run downstairs. And then we know she runs back and then she slams the door and goes face to face. But the whole idea of Angelina being the accomplice and that being scrapped, that's just another thing that's wrong with Scream 3. I, I can understand. The other thing that was tossed out there was that they scrapped it because it got leaked. Leaks are leaks and scrapping it because of leaks are fine. Scrap that idea of her being the accomplice. Don't scrap the accomplice and then shoot the movie as if they're still an accomplice. The Scream 3 is still shot as if there are two killers. It's shot as if there are two killers. Roman is moving the fastest I've ever seen any of these ghost, ghost face killers move. He is teleporting. He is showing up in places where he should not be showing up because he's just one man. He appears dead downstairs in the basement, but then he quickly recovers, puts that ghost face costume on, and he's back upstairs terrorizing them later on in Scream 3. He gets locked out of the room uh, when Sydney finally gets to Milton's mansion, only to then appear in a secret room in the mansion. You know, they, they try to get cheesy with it on, on that end and make Milton's house full of all these traps and everything so that can they can try to rationalize Roman moving around the set that quickly or moving around the house that quickly but like no it still does not make sense Angelina literally stumbled upon one of these secret passages not Angelina but Jennifer Jennifer played by Parker Posey she stumbled on one of these secret passages when she was hiding because she rolled back and fell into a place and she went downstairs but then Roman's already downstairs coming up after her how again how are you moving that fast they should have just kept Angelina as the second accomplice I can understand the leaks and you wanted to scrap that don't scrap the accomplice just scrap who it might be in their backstory because and if you're going to scrap it why did you still shoot the movie like there was an accomplice it's just Roman it makes no sense and I just I just wanted to talk about that really quickly and get my share my thoughts and then possibly hear what you guys think about that, because I can't be the only one that is bothered by that. You scrap the accomplice, but still shoot the movie like like Roman was going to have a partner. And I've heard some people theorize that maybe we'll find out there was a partner all along in Scream 5. And I'm not really here for that. I'm not here for that. You should have shouldn't have shot Scream 3 the way that you did. The Weinstein shouldn't have been that stupid. Also, the leaks to prevent the leaks just do something else do something else but just to jump into something more positive we did get our first look at sydney prescott on set of screen five uh courtesy of one of the crew members they shared a picture of her on set via instagram and she looks absolutely amazing um she clearly looks like she's going to be in some type of um she looks like she's going to give off that screen four vibe if you get a look at what she has on in this image she looks like she's going to be in that screen four vibe more laid back more mature looking like uh more of a more of a mom because i would say sydney came across as a mom to me in the last film <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about everything down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video